Day two of increasingly hard coin flip problems. I worked as a quant where basic interview questions filter out over 90% of applicants, and this one also takes a coin. You flip this fair coin 10 times in a row. So what's the expected number of times that you will see two heads in a row? And for example, if you flip the coin three times and get heads, heads, tails, that will represent one. And if you flip heads, 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 that will represent two. It's a classic problem, and this is how I would approach this. Let xn represent the nth coin flip, and let it equal to one if the flip is a heads and zero if it's a tails. So we're trying to find the expectation of x1 times x2 plus x2 times x3 all the way to x9 times x10. And this may be tricky at first because the pairs are dependent on one another. For example, if the second flip was a tails, then there's no way that the first pair of x1, x2 would be heads, heads, or that the second pair of x2 and x3 would be heads, heads. But we can solve this problem using this principle known as a linearity of expectation. This principle states that the expectation of events x plus y is equal to the expectation of event x plus the expectation of event y, regardless if x and y are dependent on one another or not. I'll post a website that does a derivation on this, unless you guys want to see me make a video about it, but I'll just use it for now. And it makes solving our problem that much easier. The expectation of x1 times x2 plus x2 times x3 plus so on so on to x9 times x10 is then the individual expectations of x1 times x2 plus the expectation of x2 times x3 so on. Or that is just equal to 9 times the expectation of xn times xn plus 1 as there are 9 total pairs. We know that the individual expectation that any individual pair will be heads heads is just 1 over 4 because it's one half times one half, which is the individual probability that each flip is going to be a heads. Then our final answer is just nine times one over four or nine over four. So we expect to see 2.25, two heads in a row, whenever we flip a coin 10 times in a row. Follow to see how hard the questions the next two days will be.